Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do a Xerox transfer. Okay, I've got my drawing paper here taped down. That's the first step. You want to make sure you have a nice taped down piece of drawing paper so that it's stretched, so that when it gets wet from the acetone, it'll wrinkle, but then it'll flatten back out. And you're going to need some tools. Okay, you're going to want some acetone in a little cup with a sponge to apply that to your image. You want some scissors, painter's tape, obviously the acetone, which is fingernail polish remover, and you're going to want some kind of burnishing tool. I'm choosing to use a, a plastic spoon because I like that a lot better than the um, bone folder, but you can use whatever kind of burnishing tool you want. And then you're going to need some imagery. The thing I love about this process is it allows you to take your imagery, so your photographs or your drawings or whatever, do a photocopy of them, and then transfer that onto this different surface that allows you to do different things. Most of the time, with a photograph, you can't really watercolor on a photograph. Um, there's, there's not a lot you can do with that. But once it's transferred to drawing paper or watercolor paper, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want with it, right? There's so much that you can do with it on that new um, surface. Um, so I've got a bunch of different um, images that I printed out. Um, I'm going to be working with this one right here. So I got this picture of my son, and then these are Nerf darts, and I photoshopped this little composition. Um, there are other things here because on the paper that I did, I, I clustered them really close together. Um, if you care about, like, see, I, I can't use this image of my son jumping that's over here because I cut off his foot, um, but I just wanted to have a lot of images, and so I just packed mine close together. If you want to just, you know exactly which one you want to work with, grab that one, maybe another one, one or two, put them on a paper and then print them out, right? So we're gonna take that. You can see through the paper. So I'm gonna position this where I want it. I think I want it right here. And then you're gonna go ahead and transfer it. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of the process here and then I'm gonna show you one where I, I transferred the whole thing, okay? And then I'll show you some finished kind of projects or at least the, some different stages of things that I've done with this process, okay? Um, so you get your acetone and your sponge, you get a little bit of acetone on the, the sponge and then I actually squeeze it out with this because you, you don't want it sopping but you do want a good amount. And then I'm going to come in here to his face, okay, and I'm going to do it. And the nice thing I like about this process is when you put the acetone on then you can really see your image and you can see exactly what you're working with. So and then you're going to come and you want to push pretty hard, okay, as you're doing this because you, you need to get that ink to transfer onto the paper. What's happening here is the acetone is breaking down the bonds between the ink and the paper. And so once those bonds are broken, then you come in with your burnishing tool and you push real hard and it makes that ink transfer off the paper onto the new paper that you're doing it with, right? And you'll notice I just did this a little bit at a time, okay? you don't want to try to do the whole image at once because it won't work. Um, your acetone, you can see it drying up there, right? And and you can see my paper sticking here, but I'm going to show you how to deal with that. Um, that's okay um, if the paper sticks because you can just kind of come in and peel it off. And you're going to get a little bit of scruffiness to it, but that's kind of the charm of this process. Um, but like I was saying about doing it a little bit at a time. So see, we got a really nice transfer of this face here, actually. Um, if I try to do it all at once, like if I try to do his whole head, um, by the time I got to this back portion, this would all be dried up and nothing would transfer, right? But the nice thing about taping it down is I can look at that, see what I've got, and I can just lay it back down here, come in. I'm going to do one more uh, section, and then I'm going to move on to showing you kind of some of the things I've already done. But then we can come in here, again, push very hard, and get a transfer. I will tell you from doing this, large areas of dark ink, for me at least, they tend to stick more. Um, I don't know why that is. Also, if you get too much acetone on the paper, it tends to stick more. Um, so keep that in mind as you're doing this. You want a nice balance here, but I'm going to come peel this up here. Now we really got it to stick on this one. But like I said, that's okay because that's part of the, the process, right? So it really stuck here on the back. Um, but I could come in and do in this area here. And I could keep going 
all the way down, get all these darts and put them in, and I'd have that transferred. And it would have definitely some of this kind of craziness going on. Um, let me show you an example. So here's one same image I did a little bit before. Um, I feel like his face came out better on this one, but his hair obviously came out better on this one. And I don't know, if I'd, if I'd left that stuck down, I probably could have got more. Um, but I got him in on this paper. Then I also went in and put um, a, a magazine cutout down here from The Legend of Zelda. He's a really big fan of Zelda, and I thought it would go well with this. And you'll notice in this one, I, I lost a lot of Zelda. But I still think this is usable. Like, I would... I would keep going on this one. I would not toss this out, right? I have a ton of things here on the floor that I have tossed out um, that just didn't work out, right? For whatever reason, they just didn't transfer right or just didn't turn out the way I thought and I and it wasn't, I didn't like it enough to salvage it. Um, but you do need to know going into this process that you are, are gonna end up running into a bunch of different hurdles uh, and you gotta go with them, right? Uh, another one here that I did, this one is of my daughter jumping here and then it's got one of my Zentangles and I really like how this turned out. Again, you have some areas, right? This this portion right here um, stuck down and when I tried to do that little trick of peeling it off, it just peeled off the ink. It didn't come. But the transfer of her, it's nice. The transfer of the Zentangle turned out really well and I think you could do a ton with this. You could add color, you could add some embroidery, all sorts of cool things that you could do with this image. And so I think even though it's got its little flaws, the little flaws are kind of the point, right? If we wanted a perfect image, we could just find a way to print the photograph onto the paper, right? But what Xerox transfer allows you to do is, is get a, just kind of a weathered, vintage kind of ghostly quality to the images. Here's here's a project that I finished, okay? So this is a composition that I created in Photoshop. I layered a bunch of different images of another one of my kids. And uh, really, at the start, I was pretty sad about how this turned out. Um, you really couldn't see very much in it. You could see the flowers that I've highlighted with the yellow here. But, I mean, she her face is right here and you can't really see it at all unless you look really closely. And then her, her whole body is right here. But as I came in with color, I came in and painted her dress, I painted the, the leaf that she's holding up in front of her face. And then I came and highlighted those flowers with yellow. And you know what? I think I like the way it turned out, you know? I, I, I like the composition that I created and then I like how I was able to highlight that composition with the color. And even though the individual elements didn't transfer as well as I would have hoped they did, um, I was still able to create something interesting with this. So I really encourage you to give this a try. Again, I want you to go into it knowing that you're going to run into hurdles, but you need to just move past those and then see what you can come up with. Because I just think there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this process, and I'm excited to see what you come up with, and I'm excited to do it with you, and we can just bounce ideas off each other and just create some really cool art. So thanks. Uh, good luck.